We are joined here today by uh, Julian Tan, who is the Head of Digital Growth and Esports at Formula One. Uh, you're going to be taking part in a session this afternoon called Taking the Lead F1 on its new approach to building the next generation of fans. Um, can you give us a few pointers to the main aspects that you'd be wanting to cover in that session? So the main session, um, the main point of the session really is to introduce uh, Formula One Esports, which is a really exciting initiative within Formula One. Um, it's part of you know, our wider kind of strategy in reaching out to a newer and younger audience. And esports is, a, as we know, is a booming, burgeoning industry, one that um, I think there's a lot of excitement around and uh, one that we are also very excited about here in Formula One. So the session itself is really about talking about what we're doing, um, what we've done in um, F1 esports. Our inaugural season was in 2017. Our second season is in 2018. And just talking through um, the thought process behind putting together the the, the series itself and um, really the objectives and kind of what we want to achieve as part of uh, this exciting initiative within F1. And can you sort of talk us through some of the main innovations that uh, uh, will be noticeable in the second series, second season, sorry? So I would say the, the biggest change from the 2017 season and the 2018 season is really elevating um, the series quite a bit. Um, in the 2018 season, for the first time, we've got the actual Formula One teams who are coming on board on the F1 eSports series and really forming their own um, eSports teams to compete in sort of a championship style race, almost mirror the real-life Formula One. And this is something that we feel um, is something very special um, in, in, in this particular area, which is really sort of combining the magic of Formula One with the booming industry of esports, aligning those two worlds to create sort of a to create a product and an asset that is unique, has mass appeal, and you know, aligning those two worlds, getting the teams come on board is really one of the, uh, I would say, one of the exciting things that we're really doing um, in F1 esports this season. What are the sort of long-term um, aspirations for the esports project, would you say? I would say fundamentally, um, going into esports as an industry, um, there are really a few, a few objectives. The main one, first and foremost, is around building um, or reaching out to a new audience. It's building that pipeline of uh, fans for Formula One and esports helps us reach out to a group of uh, a community that we don't, we haven't necessarily uh, spoken to um, previously. Um, this is a group that is young, that is digitally um, savvy, it's global, it's growing. So it's a very, you know, a very, um, say very attractive and a very exciting group um, for us to, to speak to. Um, fundamentally, it's around it's it's around you know growing the fan base, growing the fandom. But also, I would say that you know as we kind of dip our toes a little bit into into this um, industry, what we're beginning to realize is that there is real um, there's real appetite for for something like this, and you know building potentially um, a strong commercial pillar around this um, around this initiative is also something that we are beginning to see as a possibility as well. So um, all in all, I say it's, it really goes back to, to being the fan, uh, you know, being, being centered around the fan, uh, the fans, and also I would say um, more important, uh, quite, quite equally important as well as seeing how we can build a sustainable series around um, this initiative. Uh, for an organization like Formula One, um what is the significance of an event like Sport Tech? Is it useful in terms of information sharing and finding out about new projects and so on? Is it is it is it useful in that kind of background way? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, you know the audience that um, this conference attracts and and the participants who who take part in this conference have come from a very diverse um, background. So. It's definitely uh, it's, it's definitely very helpful in terms of exchanging ideas, speaking to people outside and within the industry as well. Julian, thanks very much for joining us here today, and I hope you have a great day at Sport Tech. Thank you very much.